Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Kung Fu Cup here on Esports Heaven. We are in the second Korean qualifier. Well, and Dom's awake. Here with me is Mr. Tenshi. Yeah, well, man, what's up? Look We're at you, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just got a vest getting, from Noah. Getting all fancy. You just mm. conjure stuff up, man. Yeah, I mean, um, the producer came by and said, what, what, what are you looking like? Well, man, why look did at, you bring a vest? Yeah, I was like, like, look at this guy, man. Like, look, look at Tenshi, man. He's... He's all dressed up and looking yeah. all good for the people on the stream. But you, man. Yeah, look, we talked before. We were like, yeah, we're going to cast in t shirts. Yeah, it's going to be fine. And, and then, then I, I bring a few, like, you know, more wear, fancy wear, shirts. We're like shorts and, you know, exactly. flip flops. Exactly. I'm going to have, like. You can't see our shoes, though, but, you know. <laughs> exactly. We're in, it's Sweden. Inside, we don't wear shoes. That's actually true. Um, but I, is it only in America that people wear shoes indoors? I, I guess if you have a really dirty floor. Yeah, I, I guess, but, uh, I mean. Uh, I think a lot of countries do that, actually. Do they? Like, sh sh nah. I, I, I know a lot of American people call it Japanese, like when you walk... Like barefoot or like without, with, with socks? With socks only. I don't know why. Like, like Japanese style? Yeah, it's natural for us. Like, yeah, who no. walks in... It's like, if you have a fancy party... I, and I, everyone have, has clean I have shoes. a few mates to do it, like, back in England, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, when you have a fancy party... Mm. And like you know, and there's wine or champagne, and everyone's just walking around talking. All the good stuff, yeah. Exactly. Then you usually have shoes on, and you have cleaned your shoes before, etc. But you don't walk into some like to some uh, someone's some, house. And exactly. Your friend with dirty sneakers, like, hey, dude, what's yeah. up? No, you don't do that. We, we don't do that here. Uh, but anyway, guys, you know we have a new series coming up, and it's going to be a treat. It's not going to be the same thing you thought, though. Nah. Isn't it? No. What? No. It's going to be Heart vs. Sora. Heart vs. Sora? I felt we didn't have enough TVPs already. Uh, <laughs> we no, need more TVP, guys. How yeah. far have we made it into the round, by the way? Oh, uh, I'm going to have to double check that after this one. because yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, you know, you'll, you'll get to do that. But uh, guys, as you can see, look at this behind me on this beautiful display of four monitors. It looks so sick. Uh, we are in-game mm -hmm. and we have our first player the red terran spawning bottom left here on overgrowth in this first match of the series he is hot and his opponent wearing the pink trousers today he is the protoss sora okay more TVP coming in here. And more TVP. By ready. now, you, you, everyone should know TVP, I think. I mean, like everyone has learned something, right? Yeah, yeah we've right. seen just about every build, I feel. I've seen a lot of uh, DT drops, man. That uh, wasn't really, you know, the tails kind of, it, of DT drop where you go for a really quick DT drop. Oh, that's, that's almost like a rush. Uh, yeah, like a two base DT drop rush. It goes, yeah. It's really, really quick. Um, not that kind of thing. Was a bit later, but still, you know, really cool. Uh, tails used to be one of my favorite protos. I, I sort of. I think I change, you know, my favorite players from, from depending on depending, like uh, from time to time because Tails, I really loved him, and then he sort of stopped playing. Uh, I haven't seen him for ages, and uh, what's his name? Sniper he used to be on MVP. Uh, oh, Zerg. Sniper! Like he was so good, like in ZBZ, he was a beast. The, the fun thing is, like and, he uh, had now he's now he's, now he's changed, right? Uh, I, I did he like change names and stuff? I I don't know actually I actually lost track of Sniper when he uh yeah see that's a sign of you know him disappearing yeah he, now he's uh like now he's like spy instead or something but um yeah Sniper was really cool because he he was named Sniper and he came in and he was incredible against certain players certain styles and certain matchups so he was really made out like a brood war sniper player such a cool name it's a, such a cool name especially if you work as a sniper yeah. and your name is sniper it's such an obvious thing and people come in like oh who's this sniper no, guy I, I think it's oh. really intimidating i think so you know well. like okay man you're, you're a zerg and you're gonna play a cvz in pro league who am i playing oh you're gonna play snipe on team mvp like whoa and also think if, if you're the best in the world there's a lot of pressure on you and you think, okay, I'm going to face this guy that I've done before. I'm going to play against this guy who, whose style I know. No, you're going to face Sniper. This guy you know nothing about. He has specifically watched every game you played yeah, since like, you were like six. Yeah, prepared. 
Oh, 10,000 different styles. He's like, he's like bribed your mother to know your <laughs> most dirty secrets. He knows everything about you. Yeah, it's like he, he's got all these photos, you know, mapped out. Of oh, all your relatives yeah, like, on the big wall. Yeah, like a psychopath. Yeah, 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 like a stalker. Oh, God. <laughs> We're painting him up as a terrible person. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that he's great, you know, because all of these Korean guys, they're so mannered. They're so nice. Uh, they are really nice, actually. Very easy to work with. Like, you'd... You'd be surprised thinking there's like a big language barrier, but not really. Not really. We're actually planning on having a translator first just to make it easier upon everyone, you know. Yeah, we didn't need one. No, no, we didn't need any- anyone. Like, we, we would guys, just come man. in and say, hey, uh, we're the cast, all organized. Says, They're like, oh, good. We're going to invite you. Hi, hello. Yeah. You know, just, uh, Some people friendly. actually PM'd me as well. Like, hello. Yeah, just very nice just to meet you. Saying hi. They're very friendly. Very friendly. Uh, but, you know, this, is, this isn't very friendly, you know, shooting at each other, attacking each other. They're just, they're just having fun. They're yeah, they're having yeah, good other. old fun, boys being boys. But, you know, Hart going for the expansion. He uh, did go for a one Rex Expo, so you know, playing it a bit old school here. Sora has uh, decided to throw down a Stargate. Whoa, he's just going to circumvent this. Maybe get an SCV or two, but of course, with two Marines in the bunker, he will lose Arzella eventually. And he needs to be careful with his mothership call. That's definitely trapped. Hasn't got energy for recall, so he needs to get out of there. Stalker wisely, you know, follows suit. Yeah, we're gonna make sure that Hart does not want to lose any SCVs to this mother of core. She does have enough for recall, but you don't want to waste that. No, no, uh, no. Like the photo nova charge is so important because if you get hit oh by yeah. a priest in timing, that photo nova charge pretty much keeps you alive. Yeah, the, they are the kind. Of, their function is kind of like baiting out the photo nova charge, so you can start doing even more damage later. But if there's no photo nova charge to bait out, well, then you're just gonna go in and snipe every sentry. You're gonna kill all stalkers, uh, maybe even all workers. So. Uh, as we're seeing right now, the Mother's Recall will be going back home. Sora, though, is getting an Oracle, and everything is fine right now. We're going to see if turrets are added right away, because Hart, with having, finishing this engineering race, should be adding them at least one in the natural right now. Yeah, because, I mean, he's got oh, the memories ready. Even has, you know, handful of memories in each base. But yeah, turret goes, does go down. How many gateways do we up here uh, for Sora right now? One. Only a single one. Yeah. And uh, now he's adding the robe here, getting a second oracle. He's going to commit quite a bit of money into this. Needs like to this. make some damage. Uh, needs to do some damage. Ooh, there we go. Uh, he, he took some damage. I think that's the wrong thing here for Yeah, Sora. sort of reversed it. Oh, wait. Sora, is he going to go for a quick wait. third nexus? Is he really? Very brave. No, decides to throw down two additional gateways here. So it's going to take just a while longer. That's a, that's a very early third, though. Yeah, if he wants to go for it now, man, it's very very risky. But if he can get away with it, he's going to set up really nicely for the uh, mid game and manages to finally get some value out of this oracle. Gets an SCV, just a little, like barely any value. Two needs four more to equal up. Yeah, it's going to be going to be difficult to uh, get four more. But uh, Robe Bay goes down right now for Sora, getting ready to crank out some colossi. Need that AOE, of course. But uh, Hart, he's really putting up a lot of infrastructure right now. That that starport is being built. A lot of barracks I'm added going on. Up to a total of five. Yeah, without that third base, remember <laughs> didn't have that. the energy to use the uh, uh, what was it called? The uh, pulsar beam, man. Yeah, but it goes in now. Has uh, about three energy, so going to get one more kill. But uh, it's annoying, and Sora has very very nice multitasking. It looks like you know dealing. Uh, do, do, I mean, doing overcome. a good job so far. Yeah, absolutely, but. Remember this, Hart goes up to five racks, and oh, this is a bit he doesn't have a third. third. Base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so he's looking for some really heavy aggression coming out here. Man, this could, could even... And he's even adding even mines into yeah, this. Like, he could even go for an SCV pull if he wants to be extra crazy. Yeah, and the thing is, I don't even think he's going to need that, because we have very, very little AOE coming out from uh, Sora so far. He has virtually no units on the ground. And here, here comes the push out, and Sora is realizing right now, where's your third base? Why are there so many Marines? Oh, crap! Uh, he's to be uh, scrambling now to assemble a defense. He even had that Stilker on the tower, so he can confirm that there is a move that indeed happening. Two medevacs will join up with this army. Colossus getting chronoed, has three centuries at the front, but he needs to drop some really good force fields. There's the Twilight Council, so he can get that blink that he needs. But well, you know, he virtually has no army. He needs to rely on that photon overcharge and the sentries to be really useful here. He needs to get some perfect force fields. Oh yeah, but Hart right now, he um, he's not attacking really. He's uh, biding his time. Now he's setting up a third base, so he's not going to be completely all in with this, of course. But uh, 
Still a, Sora? still a very late third for the Terran. Oh yeah, but uh, Sora right now does see he's going to attack right on top of this uh, ramp, or maybe even drop into the main base, but Sora can't be in two places at the same time, so he's going to leave his main base. Let's see what Hart decides to do here. He's not picking up yet though. Sora is kind of ready. He needs some really good force fields. Without them, he's he's just lost the game. Yeah, there we go. Some scrappy force field placement there. Man needs to pick up a handful of bio, but uh, no, actually just a couple because Hart, quick on the pickup there. And uh, now a lot of force field energy has been wasted, even the Guardian Shield. So there's one or two force fields remaining. That's not going to be enough to block off this ramp. A second Colossus, though, has had enough time to finish constructing. And this is going to be very important. Even Zealots now ready to buff and deal some additional damage. Supply blocked Sora, though. Very bad. Good force fields, though. Managed to catch some of that bio. But uh, still needs to be very careful not to overextend here. Oh, yeah. We have no Vikings, of course, this early for Heart. So... Uh, of course, these uh, these uh, calls are very very strong. Now Sora does see the quad drop setting up, but Hart is going to just drop out the units. The thing is, Sora is getting away with his third now. This very early third, and Hart went for an aggressive push, which has done virtually nothing at this point. Sora now feeling that he's safe. He's going to add two forges at the same time. Blink is soon to be done, and one with double upgrades, he's going to catch up to uh, to Hart in no time. Oh yeah, man, you know, with the use of that Chrono Boost, it's uh, very nice, of course, to have. But th this is the thing here with Protoss, right? A lot of these styles revolve around you cutting off the upgrades. You don't go for the quicker 1-1-2-2, one, one, two, two, and instead of rely on having a slightly bigger army, you get quicker Colossus and stuff like that, and just rely on fighting, taking, taking very good engagement, and then you just uh, catch up later with that Chrono Boost. And uh, that's probably one of what we are going to be seeing here. Well, Hart did get... Uh, oh, sorry, Sora did get a revelation of onto the army of Hart. So Hart is uh, being shown right now completely. The Oracle did survive as well. Sora now with Blink, just about to finish. It is going to have a much easier time uh, cleaning up any drops coming in. A oh, nice force, force field. Fields. Oh! That catches, could have been uh, devastating. Oh yeah, definitely, man. He catches a good chunk of fire there. Look at this, though. The four medivacs going into the main... Oh, no. Nope. Oh, well then. <laughs> he's just gonna change his mind. Yeah, he's gonna scare us, man. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, uh, the Oracle Swim. That's why. Yeah, might be that. Uh, hard right now, though, pushing up. Nice force fields trapping every single unit. And, well, he's going to deal oh, some... Oh, that's... Big a detonations with those Widow Mines. Very nice Widow Mines. E even in the second and third Widow Mine connecting there. With some of those zealots, blinks forward there, picks up a medevac, has four colossi though, that's a lot of damage in this Protoss army. It's, it's very difficult right now for Hart to, to uh, clean up these colossi because of the fact that he went for such a marine heavy composition and very late Stargate. He d just doesn't have the uh, Viking production at this point. He's right now producing two at a time, he's going to have four soon, but they are so late that he just doesn't have the numbers. Uh, right now Hart is kind of uh, rallying towards this... Uh, towards his main base with the drop, but we do have an observer in place as well as these uh, these structures to see it right away when it does come in. Yeah man, I really like the observer placement here oh, from, wow. uh, from Sora. He's even gonna keep the Oracle here as well, like as a sort of earlier kind of defense or like buffer to keep that vision. It's really nice. By the way, look at this now. With the use of that Chrono, he's starting 2-2 before Hart's 2-2 has finished up. And if he just continues adding in more Chronos, he can actually have 3-3 before the Terran. Yeah, that is, uh, of course, a very, very big point Whoa, here. Oh, that's a massive drop. That is a massive drop, but uh, uh, you know what? Sora. Oh my god, Sora. It's Sora. Sora. Is he going to catch the Oh one. my god, that's first two. one goes down, second one, third one goes down, and fourth one goes down. Every single medevac taken out in the matter of seconds, and suddenly, man, Sora taking a significant supply advantage, up by 40 supply already. Yeah, right now Sora can just stop pushing if he wants to. He's recalling though to his third base. He's really afraid of Hart's counter push, and yeah, well, rightfully so. He, he really should be, but of course he knows now. He knows for sure that he's ahead. He knows he has a great army, and he's a fourth base. I guess the Terran on only three, as Sora has been constantly getting these early expansions. The third was really early. His fourth got down, and well. Hart has been unable to shut any of this uh, greedy play down. No, man, look, really hard to punish Sora with how the, how he's playing out, you know, cutting out the upgrades for a bigger army, good force field placement there, initially a bit sloppy, but managed to get some good later on catch units here and there. And then the biggest thing, of course, he caught those five medivacs, and that, you know, heavily reduced the medivac count for Hart. And, man, they're going to be fighting at even upgrades. There's the Dark Train coming down, Charge is going to be finished, even though Ghosts are on the way, man. Look at just... Sora playing so well. 
Yeah, Sora's even setting up so he can uh, he can scout for fourth base and he can set up proxy pylons to harass even more later. A lot of uh, blink stalkers are in play, and we see Sora right now just spending his minerals by adding those gateways. Of course, the more gates you have, the quicker you can remax on those charge slots and those blink stalkers later on. But right now, Hard is pushing across with his entire army. No drops are going to be used yet, at least. He's not trying to run by anywhere. He's just trying to have one big. Um, big massive army really, but Sora, well, with four Colossi against, uh, against what uh, Hart has, this is going to be really tedious. 10 Vikings, or 11 Vikings, 23 Marauders, extremely Marauder heavy though. But when we look at this, he's coming into the natural, fighting outside of the main with these Charge Ellis, a very heavy number of them actually. Manages to pick up a Ghost or two as well, which is really important here, because those are going to go for, you know, big MPs on top of the Zealots, maybe have a potential like Templar. So losing goes to the point, very annoying here for Hart, and he's forced to pull back, even lifting up the natural, and meanwhile using this distraction, Sora's pushing across the map, he can break into the third of Hart, and that's going to be terrible if he's forced to abandon that, and even more Zealots of Egg being warped in on the right-hand side. Sora playing this exactly how he's supposed to, force fields go down, a bit overlapping, going to lose those sentries, but... Now, that's just a minor point. He's killing a lot of workers with his uh, zealots. He's just buying more and more time. And look behind this. Dark Templars being warped in towards the third base. The natural is being attacked by more and more zealots. And Storm is about to be done. This is absolutely awful for Hart, who's still... He's not, still not even 150 supply, while Sora can instantly max out whenever he wants to. Yeah, man, this is such beautiful play from Sora play. Pray. Beautiful play from Sora. He's got all these proxy pylons he's setting up and stuff like that. Being so active with this harassment, dude. I really love it. Oh, this DT, man. Stays alive. This is, this is annoying. Yeah, look that's at this. That's 3-3, three, three, by the way. He's finished up here for Harto. Maybe this is going to be his cue to go. But it's a 5-base Protoss. Uh, has all of his tech ready. Yeah, Sora right now should be crawling into this 3-3, three, three, though. The, this timing with the 3-3 three, three that he talks about, very important for Sora. If he's down in upgrades... He's, uh, he's, might, he's might maybe forced into an engagement he just doesn't want to take. But we see Hart right now pushing across the map. Another DT goes into the natural. Should be dealt with any time now. But Hart's huge army here is what's uh, important right now. Yeah, I mean, he's putting his focus into this front. Oh, no, assault. Sora. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna circumvent each other. Scan goes down. He doesn't see the army, which means the natural in the third is completely naked. But of course, Sora has eyes on this. He sees what's going on, so he's gonna swing back in here. Will guaranteed lose the natural. All right, that's that's dead. But a massive warp in here is gonna make sure that Hart himself is going to lose the natural of his own. And Sora right now scrambling to deal with Hart. He can't be losing. His, uh, his units right now, his storm oh. is done, storm. and there we go, nice first storm, the EMP hits nothing but the Templar already stormed, and once again the EMP not hitting the Templar, and Hart has to GG out, that uh, harassment was just too much for him in the main base. Yeah man, we're getting right on top of that production line, the storm doing tons of damage, and the ghost man, he just managed to pick up so many ghosts with zealot attacks. And, uh, you know, the Bleak Stalkers, but that drop catch, oh my god. That was a big that deal. Was so big in this Let's game. Let's just think about that, like, you have eight sp you have eight slots per medevac, so it's equal if it's Marauders or Marines, the same supply. So, oh, and the medevac is two, of course, so each medevac is ten supply. Yeah. We had five of them, that's fifty <laughs> supply so of like he got, he got units. a few units up, but, you know, at least... I think there were four units. Uh, no, no, like, he got, like, maybe a third of them out. So he lost at least 30 supply worth of stuff. Oh right? yeah, true, true. So, and, you know, that's at least. still massive, and especially all of the medevacs. He had one medevac. That's yeah, all he had. That's, uh, that's never good. No, every stim you do just hurts your army so much. What's so annoying as well is that you need to constantly make Vikings against the Colossus, so you can't actually move into medevac production again no. until your opponent starts going to Templars. So there was a lot low time that we saw every stim just hurting him way too much. Yeah, he, like, he lost so much time there as well. Uh, and Sora being so active with the harassing pylons and the warp on the left and the right, really playing it so well. It looked so good, man. Like a very sexy way to play. Sorry, I need to make sure we have our Chinese caster. It's all good, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we're going to make sure we have our Chinese caster coming in as well. Co uh, Colored Fist. Colored Fist, yeah. And um, we, uh, of course, he wants to be able to share some of this um but sora i mean really nice play i have to say very impressed yeah looking very good right now you know if you can bring that into the second game man i think he's gonna make fairly quick work of hearts so it's all gonna be on his side like hit the ball is on his side of the court right now 
He yeah. needs to make something happen in this series. Oh yeah, Hart. Hart I, I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw Hart go for two racks, actually. Like we to, saw to Supernova do. Yeah, to be honest, like, I think... It's a great response. Yeah, like playing some sort of really aggressive cheese can catch your opponent off guard and, you know, suddenly give you the momentum you need back into the series. Oh yeah, I mean, Supernova... Uh, with that two racks yeah, you made it work it could have actually won him the series it could have but it didn't uh, no uh, you know Seed was actually a bit sloppy with his micro there mm. uh, so it was very close that he even lost that game to be honest yeah but uh, we have gone out with Chinese cards today, so we should be going in just a second we're going to play the second game in this best out of three on uh, Catalina still hard versus Sora if you just tune in by the way and, yeah, and uh, uh, it's all going to be best of threes. We yeah, haven't Sora explained that. Up one game, by the way. You know, to like you said, to any of the newcomers here on esports heaven, guys. If you like this, please give us a follow. You know, tweet at us. Uh, we should get a hashtag going, like KFC or something. I don't know, man. I keep but, spamming KFC. It's really hashtag. funny because, like, you. Oh, hashtag, hashtag. I, I remember we were doing one of these uh, like the first season oh, the first of last one. year or something, yeah. and you hashtagged KFC, and then KFC like the the fast food. Uh, company like gave you a like on Twitter. <laughs> it was really funny. They actually retweeted me. Really. They retweeted you, even they went that far. It wasn't like the KFC boys or KFC franchise. Oh, yeah, there yeah, were like yeah. 10,000 followers. It yeah. was really funny uh, because I just used you know, the hashtag KFC. We, we laughed a lot of that. Uh, it was really funny. But you know, guys, we do have the second game here right on Catalina that is uh, happening right now. And Hart down one game. He is here wearing the red trousers, spawning to the nine o'clock position. You broke the unbreakable rule. I reversed it. You reversed it. I reversed it. the introductions. It's a sacred ritual. But now we have as well our pink Protoss taking a very decisive victory on the first map that was Overgrowth. He is Sora. Okay. Sora. First game. Phenomenal. I have to say. Absolutely fantastic. And, well, I was about to say second game, but that is this game, so we're gonna see how we move into that. Hart, though, this guy, he, uh, he got, he got really famous for a certain game that we do bring up time to time again. Uh, it is, uh, you know, the game, of course, versus Shigwa. Oh, this yeah. guy does not give up. We know this about Hart. He does not give up, you know, to make a quick pun, but actually, to be accurate, he has truly a lot of heart with him. He has a I lot mean, of heart, man. Like, like he, he truly is one of those that... Sticks around. Yeah, if, if you have, <laughs> if you have like someone like, uh, I'm gonna make, just pull an example, okay? Let's take Idro, right? Yeah. He, he has this, I'm not saying he always leaves games early when he did play. Well, I mean, he didn't have the best mindset. So no, like... but, but he, he had a mindset of, when I can't win a game, I'm going to leave it. Because he think he, and, and just not try, right? No, but, but because he felt like if it's unwinnable, there's no point of wasting oh, more energy on it. Uh, fair well, enough. Well, Hart, he's he's the kind of guy who he's completely the opposite. He's like, I'm going to win every single game or lose doing my best. Yeah, but I I, I think that's probably the best approach you can have in StarCraft 2, because you know there's always in most scenarios there will be windows of opportunity, you know, that show themselves. Uh, this sounds like a life coach session almost. Starcraft like, is. Like, Alex, take a second. Yeah, hey man, take a second and assess the situation. He's yeah. got no gas. He's only making marines. And you know what you have? You have fungal growth, buddy. You have oh, those yeah. investors. But, so, Hart, anyway, he's going to go right for that CC first. And uh, Sora going up to the double gas again, two in each. I like this. We'll give him quick attack. Can get a bit tricky if scouted. This does, of course, delay your natural expansion. And, uh, you know, versus a command center first, Sora will have to start chronoing into those probes if he wants to play catch up. But maybe he's looking to go for some one base play. Blink, extremely strong on this map, as you can tell. Like, you see the ledge there, uh, right up into the main, as highlighted by your observer. Yeah, I mean, this uh, map, Catalina, is, uh, is infamous for the amount of drops you can see. Uh, Blink play is very strong as well. But um, most, of, most of all, I want to say, drop play? And um, and uh, uh, elevator play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, fantastic. it's like the best response. It's like an elevator play. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, buddy. It's absolutely fantastic. No, but no, it's really they, strong. They they are they are fantastic to use. If you know how to use it properly, it can be incredibly strong. It takes very good decision making though, because mm -hmm. like right, right as you know it, suddenly you on sort of top of you, you've got too much stuck on the wrong side. What happens like fancy, you lose your siege tank and everything's yeah. over. Yeah, 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 right on that first game on uh, Deadwing. Mm -hmm. Look at this, by the way. Heart forced to pull back some of those workers. So loses a few seconds on the mules. 
not really a big deal, but it's just, you know, annoying. You want to get full value out of those. The thing is, you don't lose anything on using your Mother's Call like that no. as long as uh, you're not getting attacked, so yeah, why with not... Yeah, like a Reaper. Uh, yeah, uh, like, or, why or not just poke like a bit, you know, hurt a few Marines, force a mining off, and then just go back. Yeah. So, you know, cute little move there. Whoa, heart, you're going right into third command center. Grabbing double gas as well. Meanwhile, Sora is grabbing the Stargate. After that, Nexus. Question is, is Hart going to have engineering bay in time? I doubt it. Is, because he, he's getting... I, I think he's going to rely on the Marines instead. Yeah, the question is, though, is he going to have enough of them? Because, sure, he's going to have enough to maybe deal with one Oracle, but if we see a second coming out here, we're seeing a lot of um, pros go for a second Oracle quite off the bat, after getting the first one. Now, we do see a rogue behind it, so he's not going to dump all too much... Uh, it gets into right away, but uh, would like to see a Kron on this at least. Oh yeah, like it, would, it means it would arrive before the uh, turret is finished, which is very important, of course. Yeah, the engineering bay does go down though, so uh, yeah. turret is going to be placed very shortly. So you know he needs he needs. I really like you say would want a Chrono boost on that Oracle. Yeah, Chrono boost is nice, but no Chrono whatsoever. Sora though, of course he doesn't have to kill his opponent with this. He doesn't have to kill ten workers, but. If you get your Oracle, it's always nice to get something, right? It's it's like uh, buying a lottery ticket and not getting anything, right? You want to win at least a buck or something. Yeah, get, you know, some sort of uh, return. Now we have that turret. It is in construction. It is actually going to be finished before this Oracle can arrive. You know, not chrono boosting into the Stargate really hurting him there. The Wait. Like, takes away a lot of that damage potential. Whoa, whoa. Sora. Is, was he supposed to go for a proxy base here? When he comes in there and finds the Nexus, I mean, the, uh, the command center. Oh my god, this is awful for Hart. Was he, was he scouting all the bases? He was scouting all he, the bases. Maybe he saw, like, you don't have a lot of going for you, but man, that's just really weird. Maybe great games into here. From Sora, but he's coming in with this Oracle. He's going to get an SCV or two. Yeah, he's going to uh, he's going to get a lot of kills. Uh, at least, oh, brother, like three kills is a nice number. Thing is, Sora now can actually wait until Hot really gets SCVs into this base. Yeah, like start saturating a kill a lot of workers suddenly. Or he can just start pulling a lot of uh, units over there and try to even kill the base because. If you don't kill the command center, you have to be vigilant the entire time on uh, on hard not placing it in any of the different locations on the map. Yeah, but we see three more gateways being added in here for Sora. So he's going to go up to Turtle S6, grabbing a Void Ray. Very he, he's really going to kill in this Oh space. yeah, he's going to go right for the kill, getting that Void to make sure, you know, that if it lifts off, he bl he'll be able to chase that down. And he's even hiding the units here. Oracle coming in once again, more kills on that, up to Turtle S7. So quite nice, might be able to grab an 8, no will decide to back out of there. And still, you know, Hart has no idea that Sora knows. There oh, we go. go. Oh, man. This is, this is heartbreaking for Yeah, Hart. like his heart must sink. Oh, yeah. So many puns. But we, we do now see this uh, this constant or, 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 orbital, rather, going to take a lot of damage. The uh, Voidry is out now, so the Voidry will kill this base most certainly. And I think we might just see Sora recall after this to save his own base and uh, just be happy to be three base versus two base. Hart, though, is pushing across the map as we speak right now. So, uh, well, you know, Sora's still going to have to deal with that. Yeah, the Void will be able to pick off this command center, especially with prismatic alignment. Doesn't activate it. And the recall did go down there, so his army is way back home now, finally safe. Has Colossus on the way, Twilight Council, double forge added in as well. Even has an observer here at the front, so he'll be able to, you know, make sure to catch any of that troop movement and positioning from Hart. And finally, the command center does go down. In flames. In flames, man. And Hart doesn't know about the third weather. base of Sora. Look at that. Oh, nice. Force fields there. Catches half of that by a very, very good force field. Very good trade here for Sora. Absolutely. I, I love this for Sora. But of course, Hart right now is struggling so much. He needs to bring this to third game. He, If he loses now, he's out of the qualifiers. This is the last Korean qualifier. I remember that. So if you're eliminated, that's your final chance. You're not getting in for this season. And uh, with a 21,000 prize pool, I think Hart right now... Really wants to uh, to take Sora down at least one game. Yeah, man, you want to get in on some of that cash because it's pretty good, right? Third base has finished now for Sora. So he's up by a base. He's even killed the first third era of Hart, so he's forced to reconstruct it. Will, of course, plant it uh, closer to his uh, to his side of things. Oracle's still staying alive, up to 12 kills. So Sora's done an excellent job with this Oracle, man. Look at this resource loss, by the way. Oh, this is heartbreaking. he's lost like a single I, I zealot. I can't even say anything with heart without He, he lost a single fun. zealot there in that exchange by the ramp of Sora's oh, yeah. natural. That's all that he has given away in this game. So, so Sora's not perfect. 
Uh, almost perfect. Yeah, that, that's enough. just as close as you get. No, but he's going to get another kill with his Oracle just being so annoying. And look at Hart. He goes for the quad drop. But look at the observer placement here for Sora, man. He's got such great vision. Oh, Zealots even. Just ready to catch any sort of drops. Man, he's making such... Uh, like, he's doing such a good job making sure to catch all of this. Does Sora pay attention? He's not pressing his... Uh his uh, Zell, but he does see it on the minimap because he's moving his army right away uh, into place. And not too many buffer units, so to say. Not too much a gateway. Oh, but it has a force field, though, you know. Can, Exa exactly. can zone out the uh, bio. Works really well. And the Void Ray is pretty good against the medivacs as well. Oh, that's true. Now, uh, Hart with that scan does uh, decide not to go back in. Finally deals with that Oracle, by the way. He's going to kill this Zell, so... Zora, if he wants to maintain this map presence that he, ha that he has, he'll have to resend out another unit or maybe get an observer into that location. Right now we see uh, Hart trying to go for that second starport. He's going to try to... Um, he's actually going to do this... No, sorry, after the armory. I didn't see it's finished. Okay, there we go. So he has 2-2 he has two -two on the way. Sora, though... Just about the same timing with the 2-2, but he has Chronos, so he's, he should be ahead in upgrade uh, for this game. And with the second starport, I mean, Hart sure is going to have a lot of Vikings coming out, but we could easily see Sora at any given moment just put down that Temple Archives and, and just go for Storm instead. Yeah, and, uh, you know, will be hard to deal with that. Storm, need those ghosts, man, to fight that off. And you could also go into Archons uh, to complement his army with that 2 2. Of course, Archons and Charge Zealots are a very good combination. Sora, by the way, does resend out the Zealot. He's just got such great map vision. He's got an observer. He might catch this drop. Maybe, maybe. Not going to see it. He's just barely going to miss it. And these are four Medivax, and they mean business. What? No, man. He just scans and sees that an army ready. He can't drop Sora. Sora's just way too solid, man. He's playing so defensive, but here we go. Is he going to commit right in? No. He, he darts in, but pulls back out. He needs to get the units down first, if you know me. He needs to unload to be able to deal with those, because if he... Uh if the uh, stalks are right on top of him, he's going to lose the medivacs too quickly. Now here comes Sora pushing out on the map, does not want to take this engagement, I feel. Still has a lot of units in his main base, and remember, Hart has done a really good job, I feel, because we're talking about a lot about Sora doing a great job with, with things, but Hart, he's equal, almost equal in supply, he was just a second ago, and his army is just about equal. They are still quite close, I want to say. Although, sorry, it does grab a fourth, of course. Mm, yeah, upgrades are also going to be fairly equal. But there's a little run by here. Oh, Bonka nicely placed. Not going to be able to get a lot of surface area. With these zealots, Sora does not have charge yet, so he's just going to be forced to pull back out of that. Does see the fourth base is uh, kind of the chipping away. Up a big drop, unloading it in the main of Sora Colossus, taking some uh, hits there from the Vikings. The Bing Stalkers do come back in. Needs to be very careful here to not get caught out once again and lose, you know, a big ton of Oh no, that's Whoa. a mistake. Oh man, that was close. I think he put it into his army hotkey and uh, and he was going for the third base. Oh, nice so there. So good multitasking lots. from Sora, managing to deflect the attack into the third as well. He's so good at deflecting attacks. Dude, that's I didn't know Sora was this good. And uh, well, that fourth base I think was cancelled or killed. Look at that. I think it might what? have been killed even. No, did he? Did he actually kill that full I command think, I don't think we have a killed structures tab like they have in GSL, but if we had, I would like to see if it was killed or cancelled. Oh yeah, man. Uh, big probe transfer moving towards this fourth base. He's uh, trying to swing in there once again, even adding in a few additional zealots, but the bunker placement is really good here, actually, uh, from Hart. So he's going to be able to keep this third command center safe for now. Even dropping down a widow mine. Oh, if, if charge was to finish and you actually charge into the mi oh, mineral line, yeah, that would be like, really hard. But only a single widow mine, actually. The Spash doesn't kill any SCVs with that, but if you had two, mm. it'd be a completely different story. Uh, both of these armies, by the way, dancing around here in the center of the map, sort of. You need to play a very careful game. Hart still not having his plus three uh, armor started, though. He needs to start that ASAP, but it comes Hart looking for that big, big concave. And Sora trying to kill as many Vikings as possible with those Splink Stalkers, but Hart, well, as long as he can get the Colossus here as uh, Sora's running uh, back, he, he can really start putting on some pain. Because one of them, the hallucination, hallucinations there, bit cute of a move. Still, the buffering army here for Sora is actually quite small, but now he's adding in additional zealots there from the natural. And half for now is going to decide to back off. A good blink could actually take down one or two medax. Managed to pick up one, so that's uh, you know nice little move there. Every little thing counts. But Sora once again just being very active. He tries to send zealots in.
into uh, into the nooks and crannies of his opponent. Once again, the heart darting forward for a second before deciding to retreat again. Sora's going to have 3-3 against 3-2. Three, They're actually going to have 3-3 three, three against 2-2 two, two for some time. Uh, even before that plus 3 finishes for the heart. So 3-3 three, three against 2-2. Two, two. He's going to give him that little nice lead he might just need right now. Um, he's even getting a fifth base at this point. So he's going to have some crazy... Uh, some crazy, crazy economy going on here. We have some charge shots on the left-hand side, or rather south-bound uh, side. Oh, going look at these zealots being thrown away, so big. Oh, that's not good. No, that's, that's never a good sign. That was uh, very sloppy there from Sora. Yeah, uh, not really like him. Yeah. He's been very like precise so yeah, far. Yeah, like he has, but that was, uh, in, in terms of what we've seen so far in these two games, very uncharacteristic, really. Uh, a lot of Vikings here. Going to be able to hit these uh, Colossi very nicely, though. Good angle on them. This is a very bad angle for the Protoss, man. Those EMPs can just blanket everything. Yeah, he has to watch out for the EMPs. And here comes all those Archons. The Vikings are killing every Colossus in heart. Is he really going to kill Saw right now? Right there, Saw is just plummeting his supply. So many minerals, but he can't spend them in time. More Charters are coming out. But Heart focusing down the last Colossus. And Sora running back to his natural heart. Just killing the Protoss player in such a beautiful fashion. He has uh, no more splash damage, but the 3-3 three, three is done. And 3 is a 3-3 three, three charge there. That's of course extremely powerful. He's going to be able to take down this fifth Nexus. Oh my god. But you know, DTs and Zealots. He needs to be very careful. A massive open. Whoa, gets oh. that pylon. Only a single DT manages to make it out of the void. And uh, you know, one scan will clean that up. Still though, Hart now realizing, of course, I need to grab a fourth base. So that command center floated right over there. Uh, seems like there's something, a DT or something blocking, I don't know really. Oh yeah, there's a DT blocking right now, and Sora, he is on the warpath. Gonna swing into this fourth base, or third base, once again, takes down the bunker! No repair going down, two DTs and a bunch of zealots gonna start working down all of these SCVs, and now Hart sort of... He, even though he managed to do a lot of damage there to Sora, his army is way out of position to deal with these kind of multi-pronged attacks and now we see Sora looking to swing into the fourth base. Yeah, Hart had just about enough to push Sora, but Sora with those big Zelt Warpins just last second manages to hold on and now with the counter-attack, especially with that Warpin that you talked about with the DTs and Zealots, because of the big back, he can do those and it's, you know, Hart wasn't ready for it. He t it took a lot of damage when it comes to his economy and, uh, well, Hart right now, he's uh, once again struggling to replace his army as his uh, mineral income is just so far from Sora's. Yeah, he's down to 40 SCVs at this point. And, uh, Sora's Sora. twice the income. Yeah, man, he's re-establishing re this fourth, fifth base once again. And he just continuously keeps warping in zealots from that southern parlor. And here, big engagement in the front. Lots of DTs in this army. EMP's blanket the stalkers. That's not going to be too important, really. These can also do a lot of damage. Vikings, of course, not high enough in numbers. And Sora is crushing on forward. Forces a GG out of heart and takes the series two to nothing. That was so close, though. Six Heart. series. Yeah. Do, do, do you see how close Heart was to just break Sora at a point? Because, like, the, sure, he had a lot of minerals for the big warp-ins, but as you're warping in, you're going to lose a lot of units. He was warping in right on top of the army. Just, like, last second, you know, he managed to turn the tides again and push Heart back because he had the superior economy. And uh, I want to, like, just point out that that big warp-in with the DTs and Zelts into the third base was quite a brilliant move as well. Yeah, like, kill the yeah. bunker. Yeah, he also focus. His focus was elsewhere. So uh, you know, when the bunker went down, he's not really sort of automated defense. You know, where you just rely on the Marines in the bunker to not die, kill off whatever is attacking you quickly enough. Uh, it's a very good move there from Sora. But what really sort of kept him in the game when Hart was right on top of him, killing all the Colossi. Uh, really awkward position on that ramp with the Archons getting hit by those big. Oh yeah, that looked brutal. Yeah, man, like. Hart was crushing Sora's army there. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the big thing that kept Sora in the game was a 3-3, man. Like, oh, with, yeah, yeah, the without upgrade that, leads. Would it, would it have been 2-2? He would have just outright died. Well, well, I was so worried for Sora that for a second because he played the entire game absolutely right, to his best. I mean, I mean that, was was, beautiful, that was a beautiful game from him. And then he moves into this weird corner. You know, he, he gets into a really awkward position. And he loses every single AoE unit, which is really worrying. You know, with the Archons, he loses every single Colossus. Yeah, the Templar. Yeah, the Templar. He has nothing left, really. No. And he just keeps whooping in charge slots. And although charge slots are nice, 
you know, the Terran, as he, he kites these charges, you can kill so many of them. And, you know, if you're trying to move them back, he can kite forward, you know, yeah, just like stutter stepping. Yeah, like pushing you again. Exactly. Or? So he just he does it almost like against a Zerg on Creep, you know, where you stutter step forward and as soon as you're trying to attack, you stutter step backwards. It's like a dance of death. Exactly. Uh, you just really keep losing go- units. Yeah, like really going on So there. I thought that was about to happen, but Sora managed to, like, stabilize and then... He still knew that he was mining off of his fourth base. Yeah, very he important. His, he set up his fifth base again, and the big warp in, the harassment was phenomenal from Sora. Like, even though he was under massive pressure at the front, he kept harassing. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that pretty much concludes this series. You know, br- look, brutal games there from Sora, playing really, really well, taking down Heart. We're going to cut it to a three minute break as we find our next series. And, you know, with that, we'll bring you guys a bracket and stuff like that as well. So don't go anywhere. You are watching the Korean qualifier for the Kung Fu Cup.